So can I ask the first question? Sure. What are you and LeBron talking about? Uh, just this great sandwich spot down the corner. <laughs> we both had another point to it. You think you guys will be able to um, kind of get your enthusiasm going because he's not playing tonight? Yeah, I know. Well, um, it's preseason. You know, this is kind of the way it goes. You, every, every team's got to get ready for their own regular season opener. We're doing the same. We're going to rest a couple guys tonight, but um, our fans won't be too disappointed. Steph will be out there. Clay will be out there. And Draymond's coming back. And so there's a lot to look forward to. But um, it's part of the preseason. You know, it's uh, everyone's just trying to get ready. And uh, so we'll, we'll do that tonight. Steve, are what are you looking to see? What are you looking to see out of your guys? There's four days ahead of the regular season. Oh, just be a little better defensively. The last two games in the defensive effort has been poor. Uh, so we've got to get better. And uh, we'll keep working. Who's your uh, starting center? Uh, tonight, yeah, uh, Damian. Okay, yeah, yeah. So we'll start. Uh, we'll start Damian and uh, Draymond, Steph, and Clay. And KD is uh, not going to play, so I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do in that spot. Just figure it out. Just rest for Kevin. Yeah. yeah. Steve, on your uh, list of things that are important in the preseason, where does winning the games rank? Is do you care much about that? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your Okay, I, I'm not going to elaborate on what I said. Kenny, what was it about him that, you know, I mean, he got a roster for him? Yeah. Uh, I think he clearly stood out um, amongst the group. We like his defensive versatility. Very athletic. I thought, um, you know, the other night was a good example of how fast the game is these days. You know, everybody was amped up in Las Vegas and LeBron's out there and national TV. You could feel the, the atmosphere and that's more like the regular season. And, and I thought even in, in that atmosphere where everybody's pumped up, I thought uh, Alfonso's athleticism jumped off the page. And uh, and the way the game's played now, you know, you got to have guys with size who can uh, guard multiple spots. His three-point shot is, is pretty good. You know, it, it can get better. Um, but we really like him. He's a, he's a great kid. His story is fantastic. He's worked hard to get here. Um, he told me... Uh, yesterday on the plane that he was playing in Luxembourg last year and when practice would end his teammates would all go to their their jobs they would go to work and now he's in the NBA um, and I like that I like when a guy you know fights and scraps and claws and so his teammates like him we like him and um, we think he has some versatility and um, we're excited for him. Steve, uh, LeBron's credentials are obvious, but just given the history that you guys have with him in the finals, are there any things that you have a make sure appreciation for regarding him? I think there's just total mutual respect um, between our team and, uh, and LeBron um, because we've been through all these uh, battles the last four years. Um, we know how good he is. Um, we know how difficult it is to beat his team, regardless of who he's playing for, playing with, um, he's, he's obviously uh, one of the one of the all-time greats, and still at the peak of his power. So, um, I think when you have those kinds of uh, competitions year in and year out, there's a there's a respect that, that grows and uh, and that um, that continues even though you, you, know, you change jerseys. Is it kind of cool being here? playing for the fans in the South Bay? It is. It is. We've done this a few times. Um, I'm glad to be here. I'm glad our fans down here get a chance to, to see us play. And um, it's, it should be a fun night. And, and now the regular season's right around the corner, so it's all happening pretty quickly. Steve, are you looking anything particular from the team in the final uh, preseason game leading into opening night? Uh, just, we, you know, we want to stay healthy. We want to see our, our defense improve. We'll play everybody on the roster uh, and uh, hopefully uh, just be better prepared for Tuesday night. Uh, obviously, JaVale's playing more minutes for the Lakers, but when you watched him the other night, is there anything that jumps off the page is like he's doing something um, a little beyond what, what the role he had for you guys the last two years? No, he's doing exactly uh, what his role was. Um, 
he, he was great the other night. Um, I think the difference is he's the only big guy on their roster, basically. And uh, we were playing center by committee with David West and Zaza and, and Draymond. And, um, so we, we used him in a, in a different role than he will be used in with in the Lakers. Uh, but um, he's, he, he does what he does. You know, he's, he's fast and athletic and provides a lot of energy, and I'm happy for him. He's landed in a really good spot. You've uh, answered some questions about the tighter officiating this preseason, mm -hmm. and I think you said you expect it to revert towards the you know, the regular season starts. I mean, hypothetically, if it didn't or if it remained somewhat tighter, is it fair to say that would impact your team more than it would most teams? Well, in theory, it should help us, you know, because uh, you're talking about freedom of movement, and that's the whole reason for tightening up some of the rules, and we you know, we play more motion and movement basketball than just about anybody. You know, we're year in and year out, we're at the bottom of the league in pick and rolls. You know, we, we screen away from the ball, we move all five guys, um, and I think people like watching us play, and one of the reasons they've wanted to tweak the rules is to loosen it up even further and allow the players to athleticism to take over. The league is smart, you know, we, we know that uh, trying to sell our product to the fans and so the, what, what the goal is is to help improve the product but the early stages of some of those changes can be painful um, and I remember it when I was a player and they decided to do something about hand checking and preseason games lasted three hours and it was very similar and the players and the officials adjust and the league adapts and um, in the end I'm very confident it'll, it'll all work itself out. Great, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.